Hi, welcome. Uh, we got a Kawasaki 750 big pin engine here. We're going to do a leak down check on it. Okay, in order to do a leak down check, you got to have your carburetors off, okay? And you have your pulse line right here, which is for your fuel pump to your carburetors. You're going to be using that. You're also going to have to have the exhaust manifold off. Okay, and the items you're going to need is a vacuum pump, two plugs for the carburetor, one go here, one here, okay, and then a tennis ball turned inside out, you can see the rubber here, you're just going to take and push the tennis ball in as far as you can, you're just going to cut a tennis ball in half and use the tennis ball because it's rubber and it's really soft it usually will seal pretty well there we go and these here twist them a little bit and push down this one same thing okay then most of your vacuum gauges the fitting on here is a quarter inch and you're going to need to go bigger I believe that's a, possibly a 316, it's not a quarter inch, this is a quarter inch. So you want to put a new fitting on the end, make sure this is the right fitting, yeah it is. And then you can just screw in a new fitting on the end. We're checking to see if our seals are good and or if we have a exhaust leak because it could leak right in here at your reed valves the gaskets the seals inside the engine obviously i have the oil pump off on this one but that's okay because we're just checking the seals on the front and the rear of the engine and we're checking the exhaust so what you want to do is hook the gauge up start pumping and you want to get it up to nine pounds as you can see it's already starting to come up which is a good sign i'm going to get it up to nine pounds once you reach nine pounds, then you just want to let it sit here for about 10 minutes and see if your gauge moves. It should hold a vacuum for at least 10 minutes. So you just get it up to nine pounds. Now the reason why I'm checking this is because this is a motor that I just bought used on eBay. And we look down in the cylinders and the cylinders appear to be pretty good. So that's five, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight. That should be nine right there. And you saw it didn't take very long to pump it. Now we're just going to set that there. And we're just going to watch it for about 10 minutes. And as long as it holds a vacuum, that means the seals in the engine, at least at this point, are good. That doesn't mean that the seals aren't dry and that after a short time, the motor the seals could go couldn't you know they could go bad all it means is that this very moment the seals are good and it's holding a vacuum and so that would be your indication that uh that you're okay now while it's sucking i want to make sure that these i've got a good leak a good seal <sighs> I'm seeing my gauge going down a little bit. And <clears throat> there we go. Now that I've double checked it, we'll go back up with it. There we go. Yeah. Usually if you had a leak, you would see it right away. It would just start going down. It's sitting pretty steady. The needle's not jumping. It looks pretty good. So we'll let it sit for a few minutes. We'll come back and check it. And that's how you check the seals on the bottom end of an engine. If it was uh, dropping severely, then you'd know you have a seal problem. And you'd probably want to change the seals on the bottom end. So that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Hope that helps you guys out.